Well, hello again, everybody. I'm Jack Church, and welcome to my podcast, The Jack Church Show. We continue with our series of love letters that I write each and every day to my beautiful Pam, who went to heaven in 2019. I hope these help you in your grief journey. Whatever the loss may have been, whether it was a child, a spouse, a parent, a grandparent, a pet, a job, a house, loss is incredibly painful. And the way I choose to deal with it is with my daily letters to Pam. To some, it may sound a little crazy, but in some small way, it keeps me connected to her. And I look forward to these daily letters. And again, I hope maybe they bring you a bit of comfort as well. And maybe some ideas on how to deal with what your loss has been. Here's our letter for today. Dear Pam, I love you so much. And of course, I miss you every day. While the pain of losing you is dulled by time, the memories remain strong. As I was going through your online photo account, which I do just about every day, I found some more precious memories that while they are sweet, they also remind me of what was and what never will be again. One photo was incredibly cute, and I suspect it was taken when I was on one of my business trips when working for AccuWeather. It's in late 2015 when we were trying out life in Reno, and you had taken a selfie of your hair after visiting the stylist. Oh, how I loved your hair, your beautiful soft olive skin, your smile, your body. I simply loved everything about you. I also started thinking about all those days for several years when I was on the road away from you during the week. If only I'd known our time was going to be cut short, I never would have made those trips. But then again, who am I kidding? That's the deal with this life. We simply don't know the future. However, we did have a great time, all the time it seemed. And in the same batch of photos, I found one where we were out hiking together near Lake Tahoe. You know, we were incredibly blessed to live in so many beautiful places from the Gulf Coast of Florida to the shores of the Pacific Coast and the gorgeous Pacific Northwest. Oh yeah, we did have that little detour to upstate New York, but looking back, even with all the snow and cold, we made some lifelong friends there and can say, we not only know what lake effect snow is, but we lived it. And you know what? It provided some good training for these recent days here in Nashville with snow. I still get out every day to escape the silence of my home office, and I pretty much have the roads to myself because, again, got some good training on how to drive not in inches of snow, but feet of snow in New York State. Overall, I had an okay day of work, took a local television station client to lunch, and we had a really nice visit. We also had a lot in common. It was nice. Later. I came home and worked till about six o'clock before heading out in the cold around the building and into the gym where I put in a good workout. You may remember I told you they've closed down the interior hallways because of COVID, so we have to go outside and then go in the gym. Oh well, I had a good workout and then I got back and I jumped in the shower where I, believe it or not, I had another memory sweep over me. Here's what it was. I remembered how when we would take our evening showers before bed, because we were big believers in both a morning and nighttime shower. And regardless, you always got the water so doggone hot that your little body would turn fire engine red. I thought for sure it had to hurt because I couldn't take it. But you loved it. You would get mad at me for opening the shower door and say, you better cut it out. If you want this hot body, you'll cut it out. (laughs) Yeah, I got the message. You truly had a fun sense of humor and knew how to keep the marriage alive and fun as well. Oh, how I miss you. Darn it, you were absolutely the best. I guess there's a lot of truth to that saying about only the good die young. You certainly left us way too soon. Well, I guess I better go for now. But you know me, I could talk all night. But then again, There's nobody here to listen. Then again, are you listening, Pam? Can you hear me? Oh, how I hope you do. Yeah, I sure hope so. 
as always, I love you forever and always. And you know where to find me. I'm right here. Someday we'll be together again. Love, Jack. That's our program for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, anything you would like to share, and maybe something you'd like for me to bring up, you can drop me an email. That's at our show email. It's called the Jack Church Show at yahoo.com. Until next time, have a great day, and better yet, have a better tomorrow. Bye now.